שלום. שלום. שירז. שלום. שלום, שלום. שלום. So first of all, I wanted to, to ask you, uh, Israel Gantz, governor of uh, Benjamin Regional Council, the significance and the idea behind what we had here today. It was a nice game of investors. Some would say it reminds of, of a TV show, but it's much more than that. What, what is the, the idea behind what we saw here today? So, very good question. Um, I felt that when people hear about, hear about Judea and Samaria, first of all, they think about terror, about security issues like that. And we have a lot more of that. And we want to show the economic system in, in Benjamin. I believe that Benjamin is the future of Israel by building housing, all the housing problem will be solved in Judea and Samaria. And even economic uh, issues will growing up very fast in uh, Judea and Samaria. <clears throat> and as we saw, we, ha we brought here three very young entrepreneurs. And I can promise you they have a big future. We have a big future. And we wanted to bring the good face of Judea and Samaria here to Manhattan. Aroni Noye Boer, CEO of Gush Etzion Development Company. Basically, your company is all about focusing on economic issues, financial issues. You also see that, that through businesses and cooperations and connections, we can bring a new future to Judea and Samaria, and in your case, Gush Etzion? Yeah, already four years we're doing it. We're doing the quiet uh, economic uh, revolution. Why are we doing it quietly? Because we have a lot of enemies, like the BDS, like the government, Israeli government now, the American government now. So and when you say a silent revolution, what are you talking about? What's happening? We bring a lot of people who look, like uh, Mr. Gunn said, like opportunity. And we show them how to make business and a good business in uh, our area. And we discussed only about how to create more uh, places to work. Um, I want to, to explain that Yehuda Shomron it's the solution for everything. Even to the Palestinian. The Palestinian who work with our, our company earn time three, I think, uh, 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 if you work in the Palestinian uh, Authority, and he have a circle of uh, people who are working for him to bring, to bring him to work. And another uh, uh, maybe 10,000 people earning from this uh, event. So this, uh, what we're doing in Gush Etzion, it's Yudav Veshomot in the solution for all the Okay, we'll, we'll get back to that. Uh, Israel Gantz, what are you seeing on the field in terms of suddenly, as, as, as Aroni said, other people that maybe are surprising that they're doing cooperations, people from Tel Aviv, which is some guys considered the capital of the left. Are you seeing also that people are more open when it comes to business? They put ideology maybe aside? Yeah, you see, it's a process. It's not, it's not become uh, changing in a one day. Mm -hmm. But I see when people come to taste the wine, to feel the opportunity, when they come to visit, they come to take vacation, and more and more people, you can come to the wineries in Benjamin or in all Judea and Samaria. And on Friday, you can see couples sitting, drinking. And when people uh, come and see, they change their mind and they want to invest. And when they see good invest, they will call their friends. So it's a process. And of course, we can see it. One thing that we noticed very much throughout the years we come in Arut Sheva, we cover the tourism. Uh, summits and the conferences, and you're always there. Also, you, first of all, Binyamin, tourism is a tool to connect. First of all, it's great areas to visit. So we had a problem with COVID. The sky was uh, was closing, but now people coming again. As and you see, as you said, uh, tourism for us, it's a, a, um, a way to bring people to show them um, the beautiful face of the Holy Land mm -hmm. and the opportunity of this generation and this time, and I think it's work. Aaron, you mentioned that uh, Judea and Samaria is the solution and not the problem, and it's also true in the field of real estate, of the prices in Israel that are going up, 
You're also seeing that in the field of real estate? Yeah, the, the real estate, the price is going up every hour. Uh, also in, in Gush Etzion. And Gush Etzion, and also in Yehuda Shomron. It's but crazy. The, but on the big because picture, if you build more? If we build more, <laughs> you know, they, they, they reduce the prices. Mm -hmm. But I want to say thank you for Dudu Sada to make this event, because we want to say to the people here in the, in the States that come to make business in Yehuda Shomron. We don't need charity. We want you to come to make business. We have a very good uh, uh, things to give you, and uh, we're waiting for you. Yeah, you told me once that you had a donor or, or someone you talked to, and he wanted to give charity, and you said no. Yeah, yeah. I told you that uh, some guy sit, sit with me about uh, what let, we have in Let, let me know. Send him for me. <laughs> well, yeah, he say where to write to char the charity check. I don't so need said, your. Don't give charity, but invest. I don't. Yeah, and he invest, and he bring his friends, and we're making a lot of uh, big issues in uh, in our area. Okay, but when we talk about the real estate solution, it's we need the country to allow you to build, and that's not happening exactly. So, I have we we have to put our uh, cards on the table. The Israeli government doesn't plan in Judea and Samaria, even though that all know that the solution, as Aroni said, is in Judea and Samaria, because we have and we can a lot to build. Mm -hmm. The housing prices are raising up, and the government, um, they, they don't succeed to build enough. We, we can do that. It's only um, they have to approve um, and let us build, and we, we can do it. It's the same in industrial area. We can build a lot in industrial area in, in uh, Judea and Samaria. So, exactly as Aroni mentioned, we can we can do the solution. We have the solution under our hand. We have to do that, and it's under the government responsibility. And we, all the governor of, of Judea and Samaria, are pushing very hard the government and trying to do the change. And we will do that. Do a few words about really about Gush Etzion. Very unique. Very special. Yehuda uh, Shomron, Gush Etzion, we already four years uh, breaking the glass ceiling. That's the reason why people coming to our area. It's not only Tzionut or uh, idealism. The finding opportunity to come and even invest uh, in our area. And uh, I think th th that's the way we can win the Arabs. And, and we need more and more people to come to invest in Gush Etzion and in the Yehuda Shomron. Mm -hmm. Israel Gantz, you're here as part of the Jerusalem Conference, but it's not your first time here in America. And you're, you're, you're in contact with many congressmen and senators, and you're seeing and you're hearing, you're, you're also telling this story. Tell us a bit about what, you, what you've learned throughout the past few visits here. I will, but if I can, to add something about what Aroni mentioned. Look. Today we have a battle about the ground in Judea and Samaria. Mm -hmm. The Palestinian Authority, they are building by a program. Every dunam, they are starting uh, to occupy the area. And we're trying to build. But it's exactly as he said, it's a battle. And we have to build, and we have to take control about the area because you are not, we are not want and we're not going to lose mm -hmm. uh, the whole land again. About Congress and Senate, we invest a lot um, with uh, a meeting with Congress and Senate, and we figure out that even with Democrats, we have a lot to do. We have a lot in common. We have a lot of issues that we can agree about. Of course, we will not agree about everything, but when they come and they see, for example, environment issues, when they see when Arab, they, um, they um, burn all the garbage, and of course, it's, it's very bad for everyone. We can agree. We ask them to take control about the money that the United States government pays the Palestinian Authority. No one take care about what do they do with the money. So we ask them, even Democrats, look, you have a responsibility about your money. It's not, uh, you have to stop it from arriving to terror, for bad education, uh, for um, salary for terrorists. And I feel that. Of course, we have a lot to do, but we're starting, and it's a good starter. Now, really, when we talk about terrorism and we talk about peace with the Arabs, as you mentioned before, but I'd just like to focus on that, peace comes through the people.
when you give them jobs, when your neighbors you can cooperate, and sometimes not with the Palestinian Authority in this case, of course, other organizations. You feel that very uh, strongly in Gush Etzion. We feel it very strongly, but I want to go back a little bit about the, we planning in our company 20,000 units in Gush Etzion. Mm -hmm. With the government, the government give us money to plan that, that uh, apartment, mm -hmm. but I don't think they will give us to build it. And if we will build that, that they reduce the price and all over Israel because a lot of people will come. And it's uh, we need to push our government and the American government, uh, uh, Administration. Biden, mm -hmm. Biden to say, to to free to to let us build. Mm -hmm. And this about is the, the solution, what and, I'm and talking a, about. And about the connection with the Arabs, the local Arabs? The local Ar uh, Arabs understand that uh, it's... I tell you the story about one, uh, one uh, Sukkot. We sit together with uh, local Arabs and with the head of the army and the head of the police. And we sit and we didn't talk anything about politics, only about... Uh, the car accidents and uh, stuff like this, mm -hmm. and it was very warm. Everybody sitting, the, eating a breakfast, and when they moved uh, from the sukkah, uh, the uh, Palestinian Authority arrest everybody who sit with us. Wow! And uh, it took us two weeks to let them free. So now they're afraid to come to speak with us, even not politics. Mm -hmm. and but that's where, but, but that's where the change needs to happen. But they're doing it privately, because we show them business. How do you see the, the next stage? The same. I, I can uh, tell my story. When I met some of the mayors of um, the Benjamin region, I can say what, what, uh, what mayor of what city, because I met him, he didn't go out, he didn't uh, went out from his car. He told me, if someone will see us together, I will not wake up to tomorrow morning. Wow. I will be murdered. So you can't, you can't deal with the authorities, but with the people, they need it much more than us. Okay, Israel Gantz, governor of the Binyamin Regional Council, Aroni Neuber, CEO of Gush Etzion Development Company. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very, very much. much.